Hello friends, uh, welcome to my YouTube channel. Today I will show you how we create a Angry Bird like game in Unity with a simple script. So uh, first I will show you how it looks like. Now you see that uh, I drag the stone with my mouse cursor and when I leave the mouse it will hit the wood and destroy it so uh, this is the simple scene that I have created I will show you the things that I am using this scene this is the uh, background that I am use and the stone that I am use for this is a simple sprite I have got it from Google and I have attached some component to it this is the uh, rigid body 2D and apply a physics material to it and make it friction 0 0.4 and bossiness 0 0.1 the uh, second is the spring join 2D that is attached to a, a stone and give the connected rigid body a hook that is the this is the hook behind the stone and I have uh, attached a component rigid body 2D on it and make it a static so it cannot move the next thing is the uh, script that I am use stone that I will show you further and the last thing is the polygon collider 2D that is attached to our stone so uh, it will cover the stone perfectly instead of other collider like circle or box collider so i am use this polygon collider the wood that i am use simple sprite and i have attached a box collider 2d on it and make a stack of wood and the grass that i am used or you can name it bottom with the simple box collider 2d and this is the hook that we have shown you already uh, and I have attached to uh, when I disable the hole you show the you see the hook that I am used behind the st stone and I have attached a rigid body 2d on it and make it static so it cannot move and the last thing is the wall that is outside of the scene and I am using simple the of box color 2d on these two walls so our stone cannot go outside from the scene or and the wood this is the uh, all thing that I am using in this scene now let's go to the script side this is the uh, stone script that I have used simple uh, I have use the rigid body 2d by simple name it rb and public float shoot equals to 0 0.15 and this is the time when we leave the mouse our stone will move after that time the, the last variable is the bool type variable and when is pressed is equal to for uh, Pressed and by default is false simply in update method if pressed it means that if is pressed is true then we should get the rigid body dot position by simply camera dot main dot screen to word point and give the parameter input dot mouse position so it will get the current mouse position of our mouse and give it to the rigid body position and the second function is the on mouse down simply I have changed the is press is equal to true so when it's true then our rigid body dot is kinematic is also true so it will behave like a, a normal stone and when we drag our mouse and move our cursor the stone is moved with the mouse the last uh, the next function is on mouse up 
simply when we leave the mouse this press is equal to false and also read body dot is kinematic is equal to false then i have create a star uh, quarantine and name it release time and the last thing is the get component stone uh, dot unable is equal to false so when we leave the mouse i have disabled the uh, script so our stone cannot work again the release time is simply when uh, yield return new wait for second shoot time that i have created on start so get component spring join to the dot unable is equal to false so when we leave the mouse simply we uh, i have disabled the uh, spring join so our stone can move forward and do not affect with the spring join this is the uh, script that i have used so i will show you the easy way to create a game like angry bird now you see that when i move my mouse the stone is also moved and when i leave the mouse the stone hit the word and it will be fall this is the easy way to create a simple angry bird like the if you like this video subscribe to my channel and share this video if you have any suggestion you can leave a comment